Hello, I'm Eva Fernandes and I'm here with Tracy Holloway who's kindly invited me over to have a chat about um, various things. Um, I've been listening to Tracy's broadcasts now for quite a long time and have been to quite a lot of her courses and I thought it would be really interesting to get Tracy's perspective on star children. So Tracy, tell us all. <laughs> it's a really interesting subject isn't it Eva? Yeah. And just to clarify as well, when we're talking about star children, we're not necessarily talking about children. Mm -hmm. We could be talking about the babies that are coming in at the moment and the children that are star children, but we could also look at the children that have already grown up and are now adults mm -hmm. and their star children and the new wave of activated people that are awakening to their star seed self. Okay. And so there's a huge spectrum yeah. here. Um, it's a very interesting area because more and more people are becoming aware of this. Mm. Um, and what it really means, partly as, as a part of the awakening process that's occurring, um, is that people are becoming much more aware of their multidimensional selves. Okay. Star children yeah. are born as multidimensional beings. They aren't conditioned and programmed, they're not carrying the limitations of society and of um, previous memory, data, mm. uh, the histories, uh, social structures. Then they're, they're not carrying that kind of density of information which means that they aren't, um, they're not able to fit into a nice tidy box mm. Mm. Um, and carry on uh, living as perhaps their parents did or their, mm. their, their ancestors before them. Is that because they haven't inherited it from the kind of genetics of their yeah. parents? or Exactly. So, so that, again, there's a few different um, mm. things here. One is that... Um, some star children mm -hmm. that are being born now yeah. are being born to very conscious parents. Mm -hmm. And so if someone is awake, is conscious, and parenting from that perspective, mm -hmm. then of course the space that they can hold for their little one is a much more loving, mm. much more open, much more honest space for them to develop in. Mm. Um, and so the multidimensional self um, has a place in which it can develop and thrive. Mm. Whereas often in our society, um, it isn't okay to have these other awakened parts of ourselves. And so with many star children, when they're, um, when they're born with a sense of being connected to everything, mm -hmm. to not being separate, then it means that they're in a constant communion with everything. Mm. Whether it's the trees, whether it's the waters, whether it's the stars, whether it's the planets, um, whether it's animals, um, all, of, all of existence mm -hmm. um, to them is something that they are conversing with and um, energetically communicating and holding a relationship with at all mm. times. Mm. Um, they're not separate from all of that. Mm. And so they have a very strong, innate sense of what is true. And that, that, that sense of being part of everything mm -hmm. to these little ones is an absolute truth. Mm. It's unshakable. Yeah, yeah. Nothing that anyone can say or do could make them doubt that. Mm. And of course, as a, a child grows up, um, if that is encouraged and understood, mm. then of course those little ones remain with that sense of being at one with yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, it does mean that they don't very easily fit into the old paradigm. Well, this and is this what is I was wondering, you know, as, as a parent, if you haven't, if you're not coming from that 
perspective as well. Mm-hmm. How do you nurture your child to, to maintain that? And mm-hmm. also, when they get older, I suppose things are shifting now anyway, they are, aren't they? they so are. things will shift as they grow, I mm-hmm. presume. But, you know, as a, as a parent now, how do you kind of nurture that? Yeah. yeah. That, those qualities. And of course, as a parent, mm-hmm. you're so caught up in the day-to-day mm-hmm. running of your home and your life, mm-hmm. and often people are working. You know, there's a lot to juggle. yeah. yeah. And so remaining conscious mm. um, and awake is, is, is a challenge. It really is without a doubt. But it is the challenge of now. Mm-hmm. You know, it's what is going on currently. Um, and so in a way, we need to be courageous and rise to that challenge. Mm. Uh, and really, it comes back to heart-centered parenting. Mm. Mm. You know, not being the knee-jerk reaction, um, just parenting how you were parented. Mm-hmm. And of course, that's very very difficult for a lot of people because when stress levels are high Mm -hmm. uh, when life isn't going quite as we would wish we always revert back to Mm -hmm. our habits and our previous you know um, programming and so unfortunately um, we tend to uh, get caught up in behaviors that aren't necessarily to Mm. our liking. Mm. Mm. Um, And so becoming conscious of that is obviously a first step. Um, Love is the answer Mm -hmm. to everything, Mm. you know, and with these beautiful star children, uh, the heart center is their place. Mm. That's where they resonate. They're actually um, activated to the level of the new heart frequency. Mm And so it's a very pure level of love. Um, And as a parent, uh, the challenge, I guess, is to harmonize with Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And your child is gifting you with that opportunity to Mm -hmm. upgrade yourself Mm -hmm. and get on board with the current, um, you know, uh, changes that are going on. So as you too can um, be a star child, you know, mm. and awaken to your own potential and your own inner truth. Mm. Because this isn't something that is only available to some people. Mm. It's available to everyone, you know, but there has to be a, um, a an awareness of what is true and what is not. And these children are born with a very clear sense of truth. Mm-hmm. And that's why often they can't fit into other, mm. other environments because it just to them just feels so wrong yeah it doesn't make any sense to them at all and they would be compromising their integrity uh in to try to blend in Mm. and to try to fit and to try to mold themselves into something that they're not and they would be losing what their sacred gift Mm. to the world at Mm. this time is if they were to to do that So, I mean, that sounds um, kind of, you know, in conflict with the schooling systems and all sorts of things <laughs> this is that the, problem, that the, isn't the kids it? are going to go, going to grow into, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, some of the little ones that are coming through now are mm. um, second generation. Mm-hmm. So they are the children that are being born to star children. Mm-hmm. But those star children parents might have come into a very difficult mm. and challenging life. Mm. They may have gone through all kinds of trauma themselves, mm-hmm. which back then was one of the um, one of the missions, mm-hmm. if you like, that star mm. children did mm-hmm. to 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 break through the density um, of human consciousness and kind of bridge mm-hmm. this gap from mm-hmm. the old world into the new. Yeah. Um, and so some of the parents that have gone through a a huge amount of self-development work Mm -hmm. themselves and processing can be really Mm. uh, aware of their Mm. children's needs and meet those needs. Um, And that really has an amplification effect because they're the people that may be schooling differently, Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe um, their their ideas of health care and uh, child development and Mm. such are all all different because of their perception and their their own journey. Um, So that's kind of helping the process. And some of the other children that are coming in, unfortunately, aren't being met. Their Mm. needs aren't being met. And, you know, they're being labelled with all the various letters that alphabet soup could could give us. 
Um, and actually, the problem there is that those children can't get grounded. Mm. There isn't a space for them where they kind of fit in. Mm. So they're like, you know, energetic star pegs yeah. trying to find a, a, you know, a star yeah. hole to yeah. kind of settle into and be nurtured and loved. Um, and that doesn't mean that they're not being loved by their parents, mm -hmm. but it's a different frequency. Right. It's a different level of love. Yeah. It's, a, uh, it's a love um, that is quite unique to this time. Um, and those little ones that are not grounded uh, often find it easier to not come into their physical bodies. Okay. So how would that, what would that look like if they hadn't come in? And um, It can look like all kinds of things. I mean, it, you know, you could, you could label it in, mm -hmm. in various yeah. ways with all the different yeah. ADHD kind of, mm. you know, um, letters. But also it can look like uh, um, children that are unwilling to compromise, mm -hmm. uh, that they can't concentrate. Um, again, it could also look like their inability to, um, to fit in um, makes them kind of appear naughty mm -hmm. or difficult mm -hmm. uh, because their, their integrity, you know, their, their need to be who they are mm -hmm. is like so strong in them. This is for all the star mm -hmm. children. You know, they've come with purpose. Mm -hmm. This love that they have, this strength um, of identity, if you like, is very, very purposeful, like mm -hmm. they have a mission. Mm -hmm. And it's that that they're listening to. Mm -hmm. So they're not listening to the teacher that's mm -hmm. telling them what to do or the mm -hmm. parent that's telling them what to do mm -hmm. because some greater mm. something uh, that's so much more purposeful is guiding their lives. Yeah. Um, and so for some, if they're held and nurtured with, with that in mind, um, they can excel and, you know, do amazingly. If not, if they're not grounded, um, then they're just lost until they can be, I mm. guess. And that can sometimes lead to, you know, adults that um, might abuse alcohol or drugs or just not quite engage with the world mm -hmm. and be able to kind of find their place mm. because their true place is being denied them. Right. And so they're, you know, they're, they're kind of opting out at mm. some level mm. because they can't actually be here yeah. yet. So how would you ground, how would you help to ground a child like that? Yeah, I mean, it's some, oh, there's so, so many mm. um, parts to this, but the most important thing I think is that we need to acknowledge and honour who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, that is the most important thing. They have wisdom. They might be little, mm. some of them now, mm. you know, um, but they have wisdom beyond mm. their years. They have intelligence, a highly mm. evolved intelligence. Mm. And it's beyond anything that we're quite ready mm -hmm. for yet. And so some of the ways that they want to spend their time, you know, and everyone's worried about their children on their computer mm. devices, uh, in some ways, um, although EMF and things are an issue, they are actually being fed intellectually mm -hmm. in a way that they can't quite get um, in, in, in other ways. So there are, there's electrical grounding. That's really important. We could talk about that mm -hmm. in another, mm -hmm. another, uh, another time, perhaps. Um, the most important, I would say, is that the frequency of the love that they feel has to be genuine mm -hmm. and you can't lie to them mm. you can't mislead them and you have to be so honest with yourself in order to be able to show up to them as someone real because if you're not if, if you haven't got self-honesty mm -hmm. if you don't value yourself and your own truth then they just see right through you and this is kind of one of the gifts that they've come with, but actually it's very hard for them because they, they see through people. They have such a, um, an innate sense of truth that if someone is just caught up in their um, limited perspective mm -hmm. on life, 
they're not going to listen to that person. Mm. You know, if, if, if someone is having their buttons pushed and just responding from, you know, um, in, in, in anger or resentment or any of these kind of low vibrational um, reactions and responses, they're not going to be able to engage with that mm. because to them it's just, it's kind of nonsense. Mm. They don't even get it. It's like, it's like not part of their world mm. and not part of their reality. And so if everyone around them is in their kind of stuff, mm -hmm. you know, if they're uh, running their lives at a low vibrational frequency, you know, they're feeling guilty or ashamed or their buttons are pushed for this, that or the other reason, um, then these children then haven't got anyone to connect with because they can't actually, mm -hmm. you know, they can't actually engage with that at yeah. all. And so that can be very isolating. Mm. It can be a really lonely place yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah. They're really on their own in this world then with these kind of people around them that are trying to control them, but that they kind of don't feel mm, they can trust. Um, they can trust. Mm. Exactly, mm. exactly. And so that's probably one of the most important things is that, you know, our own self-awareness and our own self-care and our own self-honesty has a huge effect on their environment. Mm and how they can then um, be, because they need to be able to engage with people, mm. because that really helps to ground them. Mm. You know, we're coming into a very, uh, a, a, a time that's really important for grounding the new frequencies that are coming in. And these little ones are an embodiment of that frequency. Mm. So and often we're not able to actually hold it in a day-to-day -day kind of uh, environment. So just can you talk a little bit about grounding and what you actually mean by that in terms of their energy being grounded into the earth or into, mm. into the planet? What sort of um, things going on? Um, and where is that energy coming from as well? Okay, yeah. so we're talking about star seed yeah. energy. We're talking about a light frequency. Mm. We're talking about a highly evolved intelligence yeah. that is here on earth, mm -hmm. Um, and is activating um, the consciousness of human beings, mm -hmm. of humanity, to raise its vibration, to raise its consciousness, um, and bring it to a place of awakened mastery. Mm -hmm. um, and so that process has been going on for a long time, mm -hmm. will continue to go on, um, and more and more... Uh, gateways that open where this light frequency can can come in and start to raise raise the vibration up by uh, by activation and by by harnessing um, the energies whether that's geographically mm -hmm. uh, to the earth to the planet yeah. uh, through all the light grids and all this kind of thing um, personally mm -hmm. uh, to to our own um, physicality mm -hmm. um, we as kind of guardians if you like of this this planet um, have an opportunity to kind of raise the bar if you like uh, and have a relationship not just with this planet but with this planet in relationship to all the other planets mm -hmm. uh, uh, to the whole galaxy mm -hmm. so as our beautiful Gaia uh, has her place honoured within, you know, the greater galaxy. Um, and we're kind of part, part of that, part of that awakening to the interconnectedness of all things mm. and the harmonising uh, that, that, that that brings. And again, you know, like microcosm, macrocosm, you know, what's going on on a, a personal level as people start to uh, wake up to their oneness with everything, mm. we also are waking up to that more galactic sense of self, which the light energy transmission brings that to the earth and it raises the vibration of the earth so that we can awaken to see ourselves within the whole galaxy.